So, Christina, thank you so much for joining us uh, for this interview. Obviously, you're working with FR Technics, in particular specializing in EASA Part 147 uh, technical training. Now, you've got quite a lengthy background working with B2B, uh, B2B businesses for over a decade now. Could you give us just an overview of the current climate and market in technical training in the Middle East, which is a market you're currently working with? Hi, Michael. Um, pleasure to be here. Um, aviation maintenance training in the Middle East is growing fast. They are expecting to hit uh, $60 billion by uh, 2034 MROs. So uh, the demand for highly skilled uh, professionals, engineers, is um, increasing. Um, companies are looking for high quality, effective, IASA compliant training. With the uh, FL Techniques training, we've been supporting our own FL Techniques maintenance uh, staff, our partners, our clients for uh, 20 years now. And with our excellent programs, we are uh, ensuring that uh, uh, aviation uh, industry safety and um, uh, you know um, efficient operations. You, you've mentioned something quite interesting there. You've been in the decade as FL Technics for over two decades. Uh, you've been in the industry, the technical uh, training industry, for over two decades now as FL Technics. What are some of the developments that you're focused on? as a company right now for technical training in the Middle East in line with the demand that you're seeing? FL Techniques uh, technical training is YASA part uh, 147 approved and is uh, truly global. We are in five continents, operating in five continents and um, with uh, internationally approved capabilities. So um, we are delivering um, uh, flexible solutions, classroom training, practical training, uh, also uh, um, um, virtual um, uh, sessions with live sessions you know, with instructors. Uh, we, we can conduct training at uh, clients' locations. We can conduct training in our facilities. And also we have an online uh, uh, platform, which is uh, for self-paced uh, learning with uh, pre-recorded videos. So, I mean, our focus is to continue delivering uh, the top quality training uh, in the market that, um, you know, aviation um, experts, aviation uh, professionals can get uh, the skills they need to keep fleets safe and um, airworthy. You know, uh, on the aspect of training, especially training for aviation professionals in the industry, you do hear a lot of, you know, news and media and attention on training for pilots and crews, but there's also a need for demand and a need to focus on training for aviation professionals, technicians and engineers as well. So we've been talking today about your capabilities as FL Technics, EASAPOL 147 technical training. What's your forecast on demand for this year, as well as for the next five years and into the decade? So aviation industry is definitely growing um, uh, fast. And with that, um, a need for highly skilled um, engineers, aviation professionals is increasing. So, I mean, technical training, uh, like training is a foundation of all, you know, and um, companies are putting their strategic um, investments into training. They are putting their strategic investments into their workforce. So um, at FL Techniques Training, we are fully prepared to, to support this growing industry with our technical training solutions.